What's up, everybody? Welcome to Crossing the Line, uh, the show that, when it comes at you, doesn't seem to be living until it bites you. Mm. I'm one of your hosts, Joshua Holland, and with me, as always, Ryan Bennett. And our guest today comes to us all the way from Los Angeles. Ladies and gentlemen, Oscar Reyes. Thank you. Thank you. Happy to be here. Excellent. Now, before we get started, we want to give a shout out to Emerson Sutherland. He composed our theme music for this show. You can check out more of his work at Big Green Bug Productions on Facebook. All right. So, Oscar, you're a writer. Yeah. So Tell fun. me about what you write for. What do what you mainly like? TV shows, web series? What, uh, what you do? Well, yeah, mostly script, scripted stuff. But uh, I have a, a YouTube channel that I work with uh, called Pretty Animations. Wonderful. So we mostly do animated stuff. And Hence the title. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah, yeah. I, I got so it. So we mostly do, like, you know, animated violent stuff sometimes and, you know, a couple... Yeah, comical stuff. So, so it's mostly yeah. scripted stuff. No, no books or. Well, actually, yeah, I'm actually trying to write a book now. So. Trying to. Try. Are you going like a full novel length sort of thing? Yeah, or yeah. Well, it's going to be like a children's book. Okay. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I dig. There you go. Any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna run the whole show. Fine. Yep, all of it. <laughs> well, our first segment uh, is called the drink of the week. Of my favorite part of the show. It's the drink of the week. And since we have a special guest tonight, we're going to do something a little different. There are actually three drinks this week because it's our first installment of classic movie cocktails. Movie cocktail. We'll be trying three cocktails made famous by their appearances in movies. Mm-hmm. But for us to figure out which one of the cocktails each of us will be getting, we're not going to each try three cocktails because we'll be smashed gotcha. long before the, the, the episode's over, even though this is the most sober we've been for any episode right. so far. <laughs> uh, we're going to play a little game. Cool. Each movie, when I see each movie, we're going to clip for a title of each movie. There we go. And you have to guess what year the movie came out. Now, which one of us comes the closest without get going over will get that particular drink. Okay. You guys are ready for the first round? Yeah. So. All right. So, on the TV, of course, The Big Lebowski. Lebowski. Coen Brothers film, mm-hmm. film noir, fantastic. Guess what year it came out? Dude, it's just a year. What are you writing, a fucking novel? Well, I want to know which one it was. So, are we doing this one at a time? One at a time. Oh, okay. Ready? Got it. We're going to hold up the first one. I'm saying 1997 for the mm-hmm. day of the 95. I got 94. What's your drink, dude? White Russian. Thanks. White Russian. Hey, careful, man. There's a beverage here, huh? Far out. And the answer is 98. <laughs> so that means I get to drink a white Russian. And now, if anyone's ever seen this film, uh, the main character played by. Oh, uh. Fuck. God, it's Jeff Bridges. <laughs> Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges. I was like, Jeff Daniels was stuck in my head and I couldn't get it out. I was like, shit. So Jeff, Jeff Bridges uh, famously drinks a. His character's called The Dude. He famously drinks a white Russian. Uh, it is uh, vodka, Kahlua, and half and half. Sometimes referred to as a Caucasian. I don't know why. Maybe because it's white. Oh, I get it now. There you yes. go. A little slow. <laughs> okay. Uh, white Russian. We got uh, two ounces of vodka poured over ice. Poured over ice. I'm already drunk and I haven't had anything yet. All right. So we have uh, mm-hmm. some high quality. We have some vodka. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's smeared off because apparently we can't afford the vodka here. Uh, well, you can. It just tastes like bacon. This is. <laughs> Let's not bring that up, please. <laughs> First. Okay, so uh, it's a, a two to one ratio when it comes to vodka to Kahlua. So two parts of vodka, one part Kahlua, but I'm gonna go two ounces of vodka. There we go. So two ounces of vodka over ice. Yeah, that's nice. Mm-hmm. All right, vodka. Some Kahlua. This is one ounce of Kahlua. Oh God, there it is. It's like snapping a puppy's neck. There we go. <laughs> Is that too far? Kalua? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
and I don't want that to be orange juice. Okay, half and half because nobody wants orange juice with their white Russian. <clears throat> we got a little cream. Fill it all the way to the top. I hope. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A little stir. All right. There's a beverage here, man. All right. All right. Give this a little sip, man. Good. <laughs> yeah. That was mostly vodka. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So that is a white Russian. Mm -hmm. It'll get you drunk. Mm -hmm. uh, next is uh, the movie Casablanca. Casablanca. Okay. And the uh, drink in that is called a French 75. So what year did Casablanca come out? 19. You know what? I th so it's up to you two now because I've already, already that way if I happen to guess and I don't want to the second one of those. Ready. We ready? All right. 1948. 1942. French 75. What are the horror of those shot? 1942. Right on wow. the dime. There you go. Well, Oscar, you're in for a treat. Have you ever had a French 75 before? No, no. I'm very interested in, to know what's in it. So a French 75 is a very, very classic drink. Okay. Um, it involves champagne and gin, oh. and it's served on a nice a champagne flute. First off, you start off with a half ounce of lemon juice. Okay. Oops, right there. That's Oop, that happens a lot. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So half ounce of lemon juice. I would, I would put it in the shaker. But... Oh, Apparently, yeah. I'm going to put this in a shaker. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go. We're just gonna do it. <laughs> no, I. I want the shaker. You want the shaker? I want the shaker. All right. Okay. Here we go. I like it. Try to channel uh, Tom Cruise and uh, the cocktail. Cocktail, yeah. There you go. We actually almost made a drink from cocktail, but then decided not to. You want to hold? A little that? too obvious. Yeah. A little too much. Yeah. Up next, some simple syrup. Oh, like actual syrup? Simple syrup. Okay. It's uh, it's basically just sugar water. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like, uh, you know, shit you put on your pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> How much did I say? Half ounce. Half ounce. <clears throat> See, it's nice and syrupy. Mm-hmm. Chops it in. Just adds a little sweetness to the drink. Okay. I'm actually kind of excited about this. I'm glad one of us is. That's good. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> the next thing up is the gin. Also a high quality <laughs> gin. <laughs> We're going to do an ounce of gin. There's nothing wrong with sacrum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, but you have lower standards than I do. <laughs> All right, so um, we actually have some. No, never mind. <laughs> Not again. Just yeah, kidding. I thought there was some decent champagne. No. Ready? Let's see if I can do the nun fart. What kind of budget do you think we have? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, wait. There it goes. First, I'm gonna have this all measured out for us. We need three ounces of this shit. Three ounces. Three okay. ounces. Yeah, man. Wait, do you put that in with that or not? Yes. I don't know how the proper technique is. It's like... Ah. Uh -huh. Oops. That was not sealed all the way. It's okay. It's totally okay. Just I'm getting on the microphone. Wow, that's like right on. I've only done, I've never done that before. Okay, <laughs> go for All it. All right, let's try it. That is damn good. It's good. All right. It's good. I'm gonna enjoy. I'm gonna go kill some sip. Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our first funny joke of the night. Good. There I was getting go. worried for a second. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just needed to like get into that zone. <laughs> a little alcoholic zone. All right, Danny, you ready for the? Uh, the Orange Whip, which by the way is from the movie The Blues Brothers. Wait, so he so should guess the. Year. Yeah, what year do you think the oh, Blues Brothers? Man. Come on. Come on. Se oh, yes. 76. <laughs> I'm saying 82. No, no. 79. 82. Yeah, it's late. It's gotta be late 70. 78. There you go. 
Seventy-nine. Eighty-two. We're on a mission from God. Who wants an orange whip? Orange whip? Orange whip? Three orange whips. No. Oh, wow, I got it. Ten. Oh, no, oh, I, I got, got it. it. I got it. You're much better, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Ryan, you ready? You actually got the really cool, exciting one. Yeah, I know. I, I'm kind of tough. Okay. It's been out here in the heat for a while. Oh. <laughs> You're trying to really try that. It's uh, no, nah, that's all right. Oh, oh Jesus! Okay. There you go. Let's that cat party. So, orange whip is rum and vodka, orange juice and cream. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> we got some uh, some rum. All right. You got like the most boozy one out of everybody, right? Mm. Ounce of rum. Uh, ounce of vodka. This is where you put play the Blue Black Brothers. Black Brothers. <laughs> Theme. You're cut off. I know. <laughs> All right. Ounce of vodka. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're gonna need four ounces of orange juice. Really? I know. You're about to blend it. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> Good one. You made me shake it up even though I'm about <laughs> to blend it. <laughs> Very much Tom Cruise and Cocky. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Some orange juice. Yeah, this looks gross. Cream. Cream? Oh, it's all thick and warm. Oh, yeah. <sighs> you ready for this? I'm actually glad I, I got this now. Ryan, was the last time you threw up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it coats the glass. Probably a week ago. All right, so you gotta you gotta blend this until it gets frothy, and creamy. Yeah. It started to smell burning. No, so. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> no ice. No, no ice. Okay. Just as is. Ready? Oh, you God. pour in ice. I thought you, you, no, you pour blended it. Pour it over ice. God, that's rough. God, that looks like fucking <laughs> oh. eggnog. <laughs> I should want to try it. But... There's a little left. If you want it, you can just drink it out of the. Uh... Yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that's a no. That's a no. <laughs> it's not bad. Can I? Uh, mind if I try some of your? Uh... French 45. Oh, no, I'm yeah. Covered in My 1942 pre-war <laughs> drink. <yeah. laughs> Swirl it. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's, it's pretty good. Pretty right? fucking good. Yeah. yeah. What was it called again? A French 75. French 75. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get these. But be careful because sometimes they're No made... bartenders know how to make no, them. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes they're made of really expensive champagne, like a, a French 75. I, I, think, I think all bartenders know they just got to go to the back room and look up Google. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I go, oh that's God. how it is. Okay. I go, okay, that's easy. Okay. Cool. So, uh, overall, I think you got the best out of the. Oh, uh, absolutely. Milk and heat right now is not. No. Yeah. Of, yeah. Well, try that, sir. I don't want to. It's Just not that do bad. it. It's not that bad. It's like melted banana. No. That's not bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not great. I wouldn't. Nah. I don't think I want to drink lots of them. Not my style. Yeah. Oh. You're right, that's a weird aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, on to our next segment. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. There's a line from a book we will not be reading. Oh my god. The time is nigh. The horrible book club is upon us. It is time to once again to reflect upon three books that evoked awful questions from the reader. Like what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I'm Ryan Dedden, joined by Joshua Holland and Oscar Reyes. Let us begin. <laughs> for the horrible book club for the uninitiated, we scoured the internet for really terrible books. 
Okay. And you get to see the cover of the book, and we got to try to guess the plot. Oh. We won't actually know what the plot is. We just get to riff off of uh, uh, that's awesome. book cover. I'm down, yeah. All right. It's time. Let's see our first book. A girl's best friend. Wow. Where the fuck did you find this book? <laughs> By John Kellerman. Uh, A pet book? To me, this book is about her ex-boyfriend or her lover died. Uh, and then got reincarnated into a dog. That's good. And Ooh. now she's dating her dog. I'd read that. Yeah. So what do you guys think? I'm thinking horrible, horrible, dirty things right now is what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm but thinking just straight up old uh, BCLD is what yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah. And honestly, I think the dog the dog isn't being taken advantage of. He enjoys it. If you can take a look at the front right paw there, yeah, uh, caressing the left buttock of that beautiful yeah. young woman. Yeah, but did did they have to show her like sliding her panties over? Her New feet? book, like, March nineteen seventy nine. So this is what our parents were reading. <laughs> exactly. Apparently, how much this was, is it, this is old person bestiality smut? It was two ninety five. It's a book? pet book, you guys. <laughs> oh yes, it's a pet book. So this is like, um, pet, on the back page is the dog taking off the bra. No. <laughs> A much harder feet. Is there oh. is there a nipple in there? I can't tell. Can you, can we a little bit? Can we get a little bit? No, it's there. Oh wow, yeah, yeah it's, there. it's rather bold. I'll be honest. Honestly, like, kinda... she doesn't really look that into it. I mean, the dog's got the tongue out. It's got the paw on the uh, on the anus there. But uh, yeah. she's looking like she's thinking about something else. I kind of want to read this book. I'm not gonna. Lie. <laughs> so, d- what are we? What's the dog's name? What are we thinking? Oh shit! Spike. Rufus. But, okay, I have a great tagline for the book. He's yeah. like, he's really burying his bone or something along those. Ah, okay. Okay. Give a dog a bone. I don't know. It's, mm. What you got? I don't know. What do you call missionary style when it's a dog on top? <laughs> it's, okay. Well, that got, that got weird fast. Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's move on to the next book before we start talking about dogs fucking chicks. Yeah. Oh, Ryan. Oh, wow. <laughs> Burly, sexual, and full of nostalgia. I don't know what's it supposed to be nostalgic of. I don't know. All I know is Ryan's wife uh, <laughs> has got to be thinking some weird shit when she looks in his history. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Softcore general edition. KR Columbus. Okay. So is there a softcore specific? sexual and full of nostalgia. Got it. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Um, so it's so, a, a fat, soft man on a mountain, I guess. So <laughs> this is a caveman out looking for love i guess i can't stop looking at his thigh for some reason i don't I know, know. It's, huge. it's a huge thigh it's that's the only thing i keep looking at the entire time it's like oh that's weird so what does that say authors authors something edition Definitive. Definitive edition. <laughs> nice so i have nice. a feeling that there's been other editions of this book but this is like the yeah the criterion I collection yeah exactly <laughs> Interviews like the platinum you. collection part. Yeah, the the original oh. version they made him rewrite it or something. Right. He was like, no, no. There's 30 extra pages of uh, <laughs> sensual erotica. Like, oh. All right, I've had enough of this fat hairy man. Not you, but the yeah. Can we move on to the to the next mm-hmm. book three. Ooh. What is with all the fucking bestiality <laughs> shit, dude? <laughs> it's book I'll, three. I'll, it's <laughs> book three. I'll it's, read the title. All right, fur given. Yeah. Uh, Ferocious Lust, book three. New York Times bestselling author, Millie Tatum. Okay. I, okay, I'm guessing it's one of those like werewolf type stories, but he's a were. But he's bear. a were bear? <laughs> yeah. That sounded way lame when I said it out loud. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I think this is like that movie, um, a bear story, the Disney one, but in reverse, where he's a bear and he transforms into a human. Uh, mm, and uh. then he starts mm. banging chicks. I think that she had a lustrous relationship with said bear. Okay. <laughs> but then this fucker guy here shot him, ate his heart, and uh, took on the soul of the bear. But uh, she didn't know who he was. And then all of a sudden she like felt something of the bear in him mm-hmm. at a coffee shop. And then as they're about to make a mm-hmm. furious bear-like love, she, uh, she realizes that it is indeed... The bear's soul in him, and she forgives him for shooting her former lover. Got it. Wow. What do you think? I think you should never write a book. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Bear. That's the movie I was thinking about. Oh, Disney Brother Bear. Movie. Brother yeah. Bear. I never saw that one. Yeah. What bothers me the most is the stupid fur puns. It's like, it's ferocious. Like, uh, forgiven? Oh. Yeah, what is she forgiving him for? Yeah. That's what I don't, that's what I was trying I don't to. Know. Are you trying to extrapolate from? Yeah. I got it. And I can't find a pl- pu- publisher. You're right, yeah, right. <laughs> 
I wonder if there's a good audio book. <laughs> Just a bear growling for like <laughs> 30 minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> forgiven. <laughs> Ryan, Intro you... by the Grizzly Man. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Wait, died. All right. Well, uh, that is the Horrible Book Club once again. Oh, is that all? Is That's that all? You got nothing else? Oh, man. So, Ryan, mm. when was the last time you had a home enema? A home enema? Yes. Um, not a proper one, but I have had a coffee enema. Uh, my hey, wife got me into them. Addicting, yes. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I've never done that. Right. Why are you bringing this up? I don't know, because I was, <laughs> I was trying to bring up some weird shit. Because I'd like to lead you into a fun, fun thing. European... More fun than home enemas? Yes. All right. Well, depending on who you're, who, you're, who you're into, what you're into. What you're into. What so, you got? we have some weird ass shit. Foreign movie posters of American films. There you go. Uh, and we're going to try to guess what the film is strictly based off of said movie poster. Are you ready? Let's do it. Oscar, you ready? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm glad <laughs> one of us is excited. <laughs> uh, uh, take it away, maestro. Play it again, Sam. What the fuck? Uh, okay. So I'm pretty sure this is Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo? Okay. Yeah. I'm guessing Finding some, Dory, I'm sorry. I'm guessing this is some kind of zombie movie. Oopsie. Do we find out like what Okay, yes, cool. That's the like, plan. What's the actual American? Oopsie. Um Is this Alien? I'm gonna get yeah, I think that's a good guess. Right? I guess. Alien, maybe. Okay. But it's just it's like a rib cage. The original. Or... Yeah. Uh right. I just see Nostromo, so that's my guess. But All right, Nostromo. It. All right, it, what's it, Nostromo? It's the it's name of the ship, ship from the, the alien. Uh, yeah, so he, he doesn't do scary movies he's never seen. Ah, no. Nope. Okay. Yeah, got it. Ah. <laughs> I was right. Son All of right. a bitch. Nice. You were right. Pol- it. It's Polish. Polish? Wow. I guess it makes sense that the eyes are in the. Oh yeah, because the chest bursting. Because it's like chest bursting. We gotta watch Alien. You will we'll do. We'll watch you watch Alien. What do you think? The first one. That'd the first cool. one's. The first one's not too bad. The second yeah. one, you wouldn't make it through. Hmm. You want to watch it right now? No. Yeah, no. no. I'm, I'm totally down to watch it. Like the face hugger <laughs> thing doesn't freak you out? What's the, like, the scariest part of that, do you think? Just the creepy oh of aliens with the jump out scares? or Yes, yeah, jump out. For Have me. you seen any? Well, anything with, with very, very slow tension that also has a jump out at the end of it. Oh, yeah. That, that's, that's, <laughs> that's what that movie is. So every- I'm also, however, I am also scared with very, very slow tension and then it peters off into nothing. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> so every scary movie ever. Made. Every every single one. Oh, yeah. my. Oh, my. Yeah, I saw The Thing when I was... Oh, I fucking love that movie. Oh, that's so good. God yeah. damn it. John How old was yeah. I? I don't know. Nine. Okay. And it, just, I, I don't remember anything about the movie except a severed head moving around like a spider. All right. You got to be fucking and, kidding uh, me. And dudes in Petri dishes and okay. and uh, scary shit. Me and my sister were behind the couch. We had these little little illustrated child Bibles. Okay. <laughs> wow. Trying to exercise the demons. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So, then I just I can't handle the tension, dude. Okay. Just, okay, cool. All right. Let's see film number two. So oh, fucking what? What is this? Uh, All right, the good, the bad, and the ugly. There's a penis in there, I think. Uh, I'm gonna guess clueless. <laughs> I think. <laughs> it's it's definitely German. Okay. <laughs> mm. You gotta find one without the actors' names in the right corner. Because uh, <laughs> it's, it's Ghostbusters. That's Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh, oh man! Oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, how did you guess Ghostbusters? Ghostbusters. <laughs> one or two though. It's got to be one. Cause it's like, got to be one. Yeah. It doesn't have a sequel number on it. What does that translate to? Wow. The first wow. Czech Republic. Wow. Czech Jesus. Republic. So it's not a penis. It's a it's proton a, yeah. shooter. Yeah. What, what the fuck? But why, though? I have no because idea. they didn't think their common people would understand fucking proton packs, dude. So they had this weird, like, a <laughs> Pablo Picasso painting. I know. All right. You got to trick people into seeing shit over there. You've seen <laughs> Ghostbusters, right? I mean, it is a quote-unquote scary film. Oh, uh, t- not really. No, not, not really. No, I mean, it's, it's a horror comedy. It's good. See, nope. it's fine. Honestly, the scariest part for me was the fucking first scene with oh, the right. damn librarian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was your plan, Ray. Get her. <laughs> All right, next movie. Next movie. <laughs> Cla- Planet of the Apes. Yeah, it's like... I'm it's, just saying. It's 2001. Be. The new one, yeah. <laughs> you think it's 2001 to Space Odyssey? That was going to be my other guess. 
It's it, planet. No, it's got to be planet. Planet is in it. It's got to be planet of the apes. Yeah. yeah. Why are they on the moon? <laughs> planet, planet of the, the apes. apes. Oh, there you go. Apparently, if you go to Poland, you can watch some fucked up shit. Yeah. That's like a fucking cartoon, dude. It's not even they're not cut. It's a black and white like doodle. They're not even on Earth. <laughs> no. Which, but it's weird. Spoilers. Like yeah, the, yeah. They the don't Planet wanna, of the Apes exactly. was in. Yeah. Yeah. They don't want. They don't want you to know it's Earth at the Earth, beginning. The, I never realized. Even that. though. Yeah, like the yeah. like the cover. Shows caught Sean Astin and yeah. fucking Statue of Liberty right on the cover. <laughs> Wait, that can't be the original cover. I mean, the that poster, kinda, is it? kind of gives it away. It's, gotcha. it's, it's not. It's, it's not? It's no. not. Gotcha. All right. Got it, got it, got it. It looks like the trailer for Soylent Green gives away the entire plot of the movie. Mm. Soylent Green is people. All right. What's next? Oh. Mm. Terminator. This is the best one. Wow. It's got to be Terminator. Mm. Mm. I know. It's, it's very it's Terminator like. two words Either, in whatever language that is. <laughs> Terminator or Black Panther, which hasn't come out yet, but... How about Transformers, maybe? No. Uh, What's up with the... It looks like a cat face. That's what... I'm, Star Wars Attack of the Avatar. Clones. You think it's Avatar? No, it's got to be... I think be Star Avatar. Wars, maybe? I think it's Star Look at all the lightsabers. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. It's, it's Star it's the, Wars. It's the Darth whatever the... F- yeah. Yeah, no, Star Wars. I'm going to go Star Wars with you on that Attack one. of the Clones. Like, the helmet looks very Darth Vader-esque. <laughs> Bad! Ah! <laughs> wow! Is oh. he Darth Vader? I guess he's... Oh, he's, Russia? A reimagination. Okay. Why can't they just use our posters? <laughs> I don't. I, if I if, if I was walking on the street and I saw that and was like, I'm not going to see that movie. Mm-hmm. And even if it said Star Wars, like I never heard of the film, or whatever. It was like, oh, see Star Wars. I'm like, oh, yeah. it's a fucking weird ass poster. It's like a Robot Panther, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought of Black Panther. Robot Panther, the movie. Robot oh, I'm watching that shit. This is surprisingly easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I thought it was going to be some weird shit, but that was. <laughs> The fly. Uh, the fly. <laughs> yeah, I think you're American, right. American. Did, did, did you see, uh, yeah, Jeff Goldblum's in there. Yeah. yeah, I never saw that movie. Is he, you never saw The Fly? He, nope. Dude, David Cronenberg? Uh, is it scary? a scary movie? Yeah, it's a scary movie. <laughs> David Cronenberg is in the guy that did... Uh, it's The Fly. The, like He does okay. scary movies too, right? Didn't he do like Assault on... No, no, that was Carpenter too. Carpenter. So David Cronenberg is the... Um, was Lynch, what was his name? David Lynch? David Lynch. Psycho? Yeah, Cronenberg. Psycho dude? No, Cronenberg is like the horror version of, of, of Lynch. Oh, okay. So he does like really weird fucked up shit and scared it. Like mm-hmm. Videodrome, you ever see Videodrome? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. David Harry's in it, you can see her naked if you want. Yeah. Chick from Blondie? Mm hmm. So The Fly. I'm going with that too. M. What the? Yeah. The Fly. Yeah, the fly. <laughs> Be Afraid. Be, Be very, very Afraid. afraid. That's still a good movie. All right, what's All next? Right. Hit me with your best shot. Uh, the crying game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is Billy Wilder. Um, Ooh! It's Jack Lemon and Tony Curtis. Some like it hot. Some like it hot. Nailed it. Oh! Actually, you know what? I like I like this movie poster. Yeah, this is a good if one. It is, if it is. This one actually... Uh, Works for what the actual damn movie is. Yeah. If I'm it getting, is I'm, indeed some like Poland again. Wow. All right. Yeah. Poland, <laughs> yeah. I, I tip my hat to you. Yeah. Be like, I'd watch this. Be like, yeah. Ah. Yeah. But here's here's the thing that bothers me about this poster, is it two people standing next to each other with one leg shaven and one, one leg not, or just like two legs shaven and like two. Yeah. Like, <laughs> There's two hairs of hairy dude's legs outside of a. Yeah. Jack Lemmon's. And, and, <laughs> and both of them are wearing high heels. It's like. <laughs> way... One man was shaved and one wasn't. <laughs> One guy's really bow legged, the other person's yeah. knees are facing inwards. I don't know. Oh, that's just weird. Okay, get, hit me with the yeah, next. I'll take the Poland over the American version. It's good. Yeah. yeah. They had to put Marilyn on there, though. What the fuck? Ooh. Ooh. Eraser Benigo. head. Eraser head? <laughs> you, are you reading names no. again? No, I have no idea. It's just very fucking weird. Uh, too fast, okay. too furious. Invisible Man. Oh. Ooh. What? Is that a town? Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> Two. That's your get a two. Bernigo. <laughs> <laughs> it is weekend at Bernie's part one. I'm like ninety percent sure. Really? Yeah. But is that weekend Italian? Weekend or- u Bernigo. Uh, oh, weekend! I didn't even see that. Yeah. Yeah, it's you're right. You're right. It's Bernie. weekend at Bernie's. Oh he's, he's, he's yeah. Dead. He's dead and stuff. Yeah. 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 I'm really good at this. Poland again. God Poland. Damn. Why does Poland have some weird Jeez. ass? Now you know what's wrong with Polanski. Right? <laughs> Besides. You grew up watching, looking at these posters. 
Mm -hmm. Jesus. So Poland is a really weird place to go see movies in. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> but who, who, which, oh, Roman Polanski. Yeah. Now we know why. Now you He's know in, why, man. into young girls or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, uh, speaking of young girls, uh, you have a little video for us to watch. Yeah. Yeah, this is from Pretty... Oh, one of the shorts we've done at Pretty Animations. Uh, I didn't write this one, but I did the sound designs for it. So I, I kind of want to get your... Kind of like a reacts video from you guys. Right on. Um, so we can do that. Watch it and like you know express your thoughts about it as, as we watch it. Just so everyone knows, there's no little girls in this. No, so it was just a segue <laughs> thing. Yeah. All right. That's what that Here was. we go. Okay. Ready. <laughs> hey, yeah, that really was pretty funny. <laughs> yep. Ah. <sighs> Ah, uh, hey, I want to go to sleep. I'm so tired. Oh man, me too. I feel so sleepy. Okay, that was making weird for a second. Too. <laughs> well, it's just, it's, it's kind of scary if you're okay with that. Oh yeah, totally fine. Yes! What is this? Oh no! Who is this? I don't know. It's from- No! That's why you leave it over for, for a sequel. I got that got dark quickly. Yeah. <laughs> that was good, man. Mm -hmm. Was that like uh, the Minecraft sort of? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Hitler's lesser known. Uh, <laughs> you know, Minecraft is his other book that he did. Yeah. <laughs> About knitting. Yes. Minecraft. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I try. I try. Mm -hmm. Is that too scary for you? No. No, no, dude. We're golden. So we are working on the third one. A third, was that the second one? That's the second one, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have to watch the first one. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, Oscar, we are uh, very glad to have you. Thank you. So a tradition here at uh, Crossing the Line is our wall of shame. Ignore the underwear mm-hmm. and the tampon. <laughs> Wow. So normally what we ask of our guests is you would leave uh, something on your person that you have with you right now that we can uh, attach to our wall of shame. Is there anything oh. you, you can, uh, whether it's a receipt oh. or a key. Oh, man. Perhaps a condom. I wish <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have known about this before. Well, it's not as exciting if well, you know no, about it. Okay. We don't want you to know about it. It's okay. got to be something that you would actually carry. Okay. My chapstick. All right. I was not expecting that. That's new yeah. for me. All <laughs> right. Chat ticket. I don't know how I'm going to attach flavor? this to the wall. flavor you? Just natural. Plain. It's just original. Plain. Yeah. And. Hang on. Hang on. Don't look at me while I do this. If you turn it upside down, the. There you go. <laughs> Nailed it. There you go. All right. Well. That's groovy. Mm-hmm. He's like, fuck, I don't have chapstick. I know. <laughs> you can take it with you. Pretty much. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, thanks for joining us on another episode of Crossing the Line. Oscar, did you like the show? Well, it was okay. I agree. <laughs> uh, if you are loving and attentive audience, like the show, show us you really care, and hit those like and subscribe buttons. It really turns me on. <laughs> you can also follow us at Canon Pictures on Facebook and Twitter. Check out Ryan Denon's Instagram to see thousands of photos of his beginner level origami. And hit me up on Grinder. Groovy. <laughs> <laughs>